Hey guys, it's Ami and Moore. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute Totoro hat. It's an adult size hat and its features include ears that stand up, big eyes and whiskers, and also has ear flaps and a braided cord. You can find a free written pattern at amiamore.com and make sure you tag me with your projects on Instagram. The hat is worked in rounds with half double crochet stitches, but the ear flaps are worked in rows with single crochet stitches. You can also embroider the whiskers for Totoro, and I also show you how to braid the cord for the hat. Don't forget to subscribe to catch all my latest tutorials. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Here are the materials you'll need. You'll need yarn in the colors of gray, white and black and they are worsted weight acrylic. You'll need a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook and scissors, stitch marker, and a yarn needle. With gray yarn, we're going to make a slip knot. We're going to grab our hook and go underneath the yarn to make a knot for our crochet hook then we're going to grab the yarn make sure your tension is tight then for round one we're going to chain two so that's one and two and then you're going to do ten half double crochet so you're going to yarn over insert hook into the first chain yarn over come back out you have three loops, yarn over and come out through all three loops. That's our first half double crochet. Here is our second half double crochet. Going to do our third one. And then yarn over again. This is number four. This is five. And six, seven, and eight, and nine, and our very last half double crochet, our tenth half double crochet. You're going to pull your yarn so you make the circle tight. Now we will join slip stitch to our first stitch made. So you go ahead and do a slip stitch and then use your stitch marker to insert into the last stitch made. And then if we count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten half double crochet stitches. Now for round two, it's two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So at the end, you should have 20 half double crochet stitches. So you're going to do one half double crochet stitch into the same stitch. Here is our second half double crochet stitch. Then you're going to do two again in the next one. So that is going to be one and in the same stitch that is two. Repeat again two in our next stitch. So that is one and two and two in our next one and continue to repeat all the way around and at the end you should have 20 half double crochet stitches. You should move your stitch marker to the last stitch made and then if your hole opens up you can tighten it up and now for round two we should have 20 half double crochet that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seven eighteen nineteen and twenty now for round three our pattern is two one two one repeat the pattern all the way around and you have 30 half double crochet stitches so that's going to be one and in our same stitch that is two and then just one in our next stitch repeat the pattern again two one 
So that is one half double crochet, same stitch, that is two, and then just one in our next stitch. Repeat again, two and one, that is one half double crochet, two, and then just one and continue to repeat all the way around. And at the end, you should have 30 half double crochet stitches. Now for round four, our pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one. Continue to repeat all the way around and you'll have 40 half double crochet stitches. So that's going to be one and then two into the same stitch and then just one one so that's going to be one and then our next stitch just one and then we're going to repeat again it's two one one so that is going to be one and two and then one and one. Continue to repeat all the way around and you should have 40 half double crochet stitches at the end. Now at the end of round four you'll want to check your gauge. So you'll measure the diameter and you'll want it to be about four inches wide across. For round five our pattern is two, one, 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 two, one, 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 continue to repeat all the way around and you'll have 50 half double crochet stitches at the end. So that is one, and then in the same stitch, it is two half double crochet stitches, and then it's one, one, one. So that is going to be one, and then one, and one again and repeat the pattern of two one 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 so that's going to be one and two and then it's going to be one one and one and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around and at the end you should have 50 half double crochet stitches. Now for round six we're going to stay at 50 so it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So you are going to do one and one and continue to do one in each stitch all the way around and you'll have 50 half double crochet stitches at the end. Now for round seven our pattern is going to be two, one, 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 two, one, 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 one. Continue to repeat around and you'll have 60 half double crochet stitches. So that is one and two and then our next four just one so that's one two three and four repeat again it's two and then our next four just one so that is one and two and then our next four just one and two three and four and continue to repeat all the way around and at the end you should have 60 half double crochet stitches. For round eight our pattern is just one in each stitch all the way around and you're going to stay at 60 half double crochet stitches. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of the round. And here is how our hat looks like so far. And then for round nine, our pattern's going to be two. And in the next nine, just one. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you'll have 66 half double crochet stitches. So that's going to be one, 
and then in the same stitch, two. And in our next nine, we are going to do one. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Repeat the pattern again. That's two. And in the next nine, just one. So that is one and two. And then it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you'll continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. And at the end, you should have 66 half double crochet stitches. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for rounds 10 and 11, we are just going to stay at 66. So just go ahead and do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and I will meet you at the end of round 11. For round 12, we are first going to do two and two. So that is one and two into the same stitch and then two again. So that is one and two. And in our next 31 stitches, we're just going to do one in each stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, 30 and 31. And then we're going to repeat again. That's two and two. So that's going to be one and two and one and two. And then in the next 31 stitches all the way to the end of the round, you are going to do one half double crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. So this is how the hat looks like so far. Now for round 13 through 16, we are going to just do one half double crochet in each stitch around and you are going to stay at 70 stitches. So go ahead and work up those stitches and I will meet you at the end of round 16. So now we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 16 rounds finished. Now for round 17, we are going to do single crochet stitch all the way around. So we are going to do one single crochet stitch one stitch in each stitch all the way around so you should have 70 single crochet stitches at the end. For the ear flap we will work in rows. For row 18 we are going to have 14 single crochet stitches so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And then you're going to chain one and turn. And for row 19, we're going to stay at 14. So that's our chain. And then here's our very first stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And then you will chain one and turn. And for row 20, we will have 12 single crochet stitches. 
we will do a decrease. You're going to insert hook, yarn over, come back out. Insert hook into next stitch, yarn over and come back out. Yarn over, come out through all three loops. And then we will do single crochet in the next 10. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then single crochet decrease. And then you will chain one and turn. And for row 21, we are just going to stay at 12. So we are going to that the chain and into our very first stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Then you are going to chain one and turn. And then we are going to, that's our chain, and do a decrease right here. So here is our decrease. And then in the next eight, we are going to do single crochet stitches. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to decrease in the last two stitches. And for row 23 to 25, you're going to chain one and turn, and then you are going to stay at 10. So it is just one single crochet stitch and each stitch across. Go ahead and work up your rows and I will meet you at the end of row 25. After row 25, you're going to chain one and turn. Now for row 26, you're going to do a decrease. So that's our chain and do our decrease right here. And then a single crochet in our next six. So that's one two, three, four, five, and six, and then single crochet decrease. And here is our decrease. And now we are going to chain one and turn. And for the next two rows, we are just going to stay at eight single crochet stitches. So go ahead and do your two rows and I will meet you at the end of row 28. For row 29, you will chain one and turn and then we are going to do a single crochet decrease. And here is our decrease. And then in our next four, it's just going to be one. So that's one two, three, and four, and then we'll do a decrease. And then we are going to do chain one and turn. And for row 30, we are going to do a decrease. And then it's just one single crochet stitch and in our next just one and then last we are going to do another decrease. Now we should have four single crochet stitches and here is our ear flap. This is how it looks like so far. Now what we want to do is we want to do a single crochet border up the ear flap. So that's going to be around one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it's going to be nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve single crochet 
stitches and this is how our ear flap looks like so far. Now you'll want to do single crochet in our next 20 stitches across. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So now we want to create our second ear flap. So we're going to go back to our time step and repeat the pattern once more. And for our second ear flap, we are going to go up the border of the ear flap with single crochet stitch as well. So go ahead and do your single crochet stitches to the top of the base of the hat. And then we are going to go ahead and do a slip stitch to finish off. So go ahead and pull it all the way through. We're going to cut and pull through. And here's how the base of our hat looks like with the ear flaps. Now for the ears with gray yarn, you are going to make a slip knot. And then you will, for round one, you will chain two. So that's one and two. And then six single crochet stitch into the first chain. So that is one, two, and then three, four, five, and six. Then you're going to close your loop and use a stitch marker to mark the end of your round. For round two, you're going to ignore that doesn't count. And then it's just two single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So that is going to be one and two into the same stitch. And that is one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and a very last stitch it's going to be one and two and now you should have 12 single crochet stitches around for round three, we are going to stay at 12. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. And at the end, we should have 12 single crochet stitches. For round four, our pattern is two. And in the next five, just one, repeat around and you'll have 14 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two and one, two, three, four, and five. Repeat again, that's two here. So that's one and two. And then the five, we'll just have one, two, three, four, and five. And now we should have 14 single crochet stitches. Now for round five, we are going to stay at 14. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round six, our pattern is two. And in the next six, just one and repeat around. So here is one and two. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Repeat again, it's two right there and then one in the rest. So that's one and two and one, two, three, four, five, six. And now you should have 16 single crochet stitches. 
for round seven, we will stay at 16 single crochet. So it's just one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round eight, our pattern is a decrease. And in the next six, just one repeat around and you'll have 14 stitches. And here is our first decrease. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then do a decrease again right here. So here is our decrease. And then just one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you should have 14 single crochet stitches. For round nine, we are going to stay at 14. So it's just one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 10, our pattern is a decrease and then single crochet in the next five. Repeat around and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches. Here is our decrease and then one, two, three, four, five. Decrease again. And then it's one, two, three, four, five and you should now have 12 single crochet stitches for rounds 11 and 12 we will stay at 12 so it's just one single crochet in each stitch around so go ahead and work up your stitches and i will meet you at the end of round 12. and at the end you'll want to cut off a long tail and fasten off and here is our ear completed and you'll want to make two. Now for the eye with white yarn, you are going to chain two. That's one and two. And you will do six single crochet stitch into the first chain. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six and you will close your loop tight. We'll put on a stitch marker. And for round two, it is two in each stitch around and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So that is one and two. Next stitch is also one and two and repeat all the way around and you'll have 12 stitches at the end. For round three, our pattern is two, one, two, one, and repeat all the way around. You will have 18 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two, and just one. Repeat again, it's one and two, and one, and continue to repeat all the way around. For round four, our pattern is two, and in the next five, just one, and continue to repeat all the way around. And at the end, you should have 21 single crochet stitches. So that is one and two, and then it's one, two, three, four, and five. Repeat again, it's two right there. So one and two. And then it's one, two, three, four, and five. And repeat one last time. It's two, and then just one in the rest. So that's one and two, and one, two, three, four, and five. And at the end, we are going to do a slip stitch to join to the next stitch. And then cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here is your eye and you want to make two. For the pupil with black yarn, you are going to go ahead and chain two. And it's one and two. And you will do four single crochet stitch into the first chain. So that is one, two, three, and four. And then go ahead and tighten the loop. And then you will want to slip stitch to the very first stitch. 
So you're gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch and pull all the way through. And you'll want to fasten off a very long tail and fasten off. And here is your pupil completed and you'll want to make two. For the nose with black yarn, you are going to chain four. So that is one, two, three, four. And you will do a single crochet stitch into the previous chain. So that is one single crochet stitch and then two half double crochet in the next stitch. So here is your half double crochet and into the same stitch another half double crochet stitch and then single crochet into the last stitch and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the last stitch and then fasten off you're going to cut a long tail and fasten off and here is our nose completed now we're ready to assemble our hat. For the eye placement, you'll want to sew it two rounds above from the bottom of the hat. So go ahead and sew on your eyes. <laughs> 